Hello, this is Nurseman from the Maxon training team. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how to make branching structures using Cinema 4D particles. In this empty project scene, I'm going to go and create a basic emitter and rotate it so that it faces upwards because I want my main branch to go upwards. Now let's go to the basic emitter and change a few things. I want to emit a shot of one particle and I'm going to make the emitter quite small, one by one by one. And I'm going to go to my particle group and just make this a bit bigger so we can see it. Let's rewind, press play and you will see one particle going upwards. I'm also going to extend my timeline so that I can see a bit better. Now with the particle group selected, let's go and add a tracer, which is going to be the main spline. Now let's go and create a reproduce particle generator and put it under the main particle group. I'll bring the reproduced one down here. And what I want to do is reproduce a number of particles, or let's say five uh, per particle. And uh, what this is going to do is it's going to create particles that are going in a certain direction. You can see that all the particles, the five particles, are going that way. And it's only emitting one. So let's set this to constant and rewind, press play. And you will see now we get this stream of particles that are all bunched up. So let's go to the properties and tell the velocity to be in a radial configuration. So rewind, Press play and you will see that now the particles are going in all sorts of directions around the original particle. And uh, I also want to have a life expectation of 25 with a spread of 15, so these particles die. Now I don't want this emission to happen continuously, I want it to happen in regular pulses. So I'm going to use a time condition, put it here and make the reproducer child of the time condition, so that when it's satisfied using the pulse, with a start frame of zero, with a duration of one frame and a gap of 15 frames. So every 15 frames, we're going to get a pulse of particles. You can see they're flying around. And that's fantastic. Now let's select this particle group and go to MoGraph and create another tracer and put it down here. And if we rewind and press play, we are seeing these branches generated. So I want to fix a couple of things. First of all, you can see that the lines are not attached. And uh, the reason for that is that the reproduced particles are projected on the first frame of their lives to a distance that's relative to their actual speed. So let's set this to zero. Also, let's make sure the emitting particle has a radius of zero as well. So everything is emitted from the same point. Now again, you will see that uh, we're getting no lines now. And that's because the particles have no motion. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a condition under these branching particles. And I'm going to set this condition that when the age is greater than zero frames, then let's go and add some speed. So I'm going to use the math, put this as a child of this condition, and assign, let's go to assign, a velocity speed of 100 so now they're going to be born still and then they're going to accelerate and you can see that the lines are attached finally to make the effect better let's go and add a gravity under the same condition and make it negative so minus 50 and this way these particles are going to go upwards and create those nice bending branches and uh, this is how you will create branching structures using the new particle system if you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.